しもし。Okay, good day, everyone. I will I'm, I will be your reporter for today's topic format and speaking. This is under on the subject of EL one o eight by Ma Mercedita. So, let's do proceed. So the functions of speaking in design speaking activities is necessary to recognize the different functions of speaking. Brown and Yule's framework state the three-part version of the function of speaking. So, the, so this says that Brown and Yule's frame consists three parts, wherein the first part is talk as interaction, talk as transaction, and talk as performance. So, this varies as interaction, transaction, and performance. I want you to bear in this on your mind, guys, because this is. Very relevant and very important. So as we go into deep more, as 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 we're going to move along with the topic, we're going to dig up the meaning of each functions of speaking. So talk as interaction. So as what we are seeing right now, there are three really beautiful and lo lovely ladies that are having their um, break time, and they do. Interact with each other by sharing their thoughts, their and what had happened on their daily lives. So they're actually trans, um, having an interaction with each other from one from a person to another. So as we all know that you can make a a, a conversation if there is a speaker and a receiver, a, a, a speaker through a channel and by the, a receiver and vice versa so so on and so forth so let's do know the mean the definition of the function of interaction so talk as interaction talk as interaction refers to what we normally mean by conversation and describes interaction refers to what server a primarily social function it is very difficult for the teacher to teach the students in this case, the teacher should be able or invite the students to give feedback even in a small conversation. So what does this mean? So um, talk as interaction is actually a discourse, a, a conversation wherein uh, there is an interaction between uh, the, the speaker and the one that he's going, his, his or her uh, try to release the message for so it is differs if uh, a one person to add uh, uh, this differs to what person or how many person is going to relay on the message so in this scenario the teacher um, it is very difficult for the teacher to teach the student in this case the teacher should be able to or invite the students to give you feedback even in a small conversation so as we all know if we teach in the field of teaching um, we interact with our we interact with our students so it's not all of the time that we're going to discuss but we also we have this we also have to let them speak because it's it is a it's not a teacher centered approach but it is um we need to gather also their information and their thoughts about what the lesson is all about so there there is an interaction between you and your students so talk as transaction talk as transaction refers to situations where the focus is on what is said or done the message and making oneself understood clearly and accurately is the central focus rather than the participants and how they interact socially with each other such as offering something asking for directions classroom dis their discussion so this type of function of speaking is actually quite uh, understandable because uh, this refers to a situation wherein uh, you're 
it focuses on what is said or done. So like the example that been given, given, uh, you're offering something or like asking for directions or classroom discussions. So to further dig the talks as transaction, there are two types of transaction by Burns. So the number one is transaction that focus in is on giving and receiving information. The participant focus primarily on what is said or achieved. And for the second part, it is the transaction that focus on obtaining goods or services such as such as checking into a hotel or ordering food in a restaurant. So as you can see, the both of them vary, has difference. On the first part, it is how you how is the message being transcend uh it transcend from receiving to infer receiving information it only focus on that part but for the second type uh by burns this focuses on the uh what you call this in the industry like you're having a transaction between a a, uh, a guest let's say you are the worker at that establishment and you're going to make a transaction between you you as a cashier for example for say you as a cashier you're going to make a transaction between the customer because the customer is the one who's going to order and you're going to ask him further some questions or else so Talk as transaction and principle. So the actually this varies in three types: principles, technique. Ah, just two types. Oops, oopsie doopsie. Technique principles. Yes. So for the principles, it is primarily information focus. So it's just what I've said. The main focus is on the message. So this is the example. Um, explaining a need or intention, describing something, asking questions and clarification, confirming information, justifying an opinion, making suggestions, clarifying understanding, making comparison, agreeing and disagreeing. So this, this is the main focus of this type by Burns in the principle, under principles. Well, for the technique, this is by doing these activities. So, there is ranking, values clarification, brainstorming, simulations, role play. Role play under it would it under it is like preparing, modeling, and elicity, practice, practicing, and reviewing. And others, and lastly would be group discussion. So in here, actually, uh, the the transaction is within a group already. Like here, like from from the previous slide, on the principal part, uh, this mean the main focus is that you're gaining information, or the one that you're going, or you're the one that been go, going to this course on the what will be the information all about it's just like a uh, vice versa so just through the help of a speaker a channel and a receiver yes and for the last for the last type of functions and functions in speaking um talk as performance so Talk as performance tends to be in the form of monologue rather than dialogue. Often follows a recognizable format like speech of welcome and is closer to written language than conversational language. It focuses both on message and audience <coughs> and more predictable organization. So this type of um, functional speaking is more likely... Um, a message a, a person to a society like you versus the society so in this type of conversation <clears throat> sorry for that is that 
It's like, for example, of public speaking, you're going to read a speech, speech that you're, you've wrote or you have made. So it is more likely a re reading a dialogue for a, for a mass, for all. <clears throat> so it focuses on message and audience. So yes, it focuses to it and more predictable organization. So, for example, uh, mostly this happens in the mass, a group meeting, meeting the advance, and uh, other stuff. So, um, I have here an additional media resource in YouTube. So, you may click the link of this file, of this being highlighted here, and it will direct you to the YouTube channel and yes that covers all and yes that covers all my report for this evening thank you for listening guys hope you have learned something and stay safe god bless thank you